Hello guys, today we would be studying about the complex process in biology which is known as DNA replication. So as we all know that the DNA replication was schemed by Watson and Crick. So we will look into the process directly. Now the process of DNA replication requires a number of enzymes. These enzymes are helicase, tropoisomerase, trimase, DNA polymerase 3, ligases and exonucleases. We would be studying about the function of each of these enzymes in detail in this video and uh, so let's get started. Okay, so origin of replication. These are the sites where DNA replication occurs and uh, in prokaryotes there is just one site where DNA replication can occur whereas in eukaryotes there are several thousands of sites where DNA replication occurs. So, as we all know that DNA is a double helix structure, so there is a need to unwind these two strands in order to start the DNA replication process. So, the unwinding of the two strands is done with the enzyme which is known as helicase. Helicase leads to the formation of a structure which is known as replicating fork. Now, um, this is the diagrammatic representation of the replicating fork. Now, the, these are the two parental strands of the DNA and these are arranged in the anti parallel fashion. The, here we have the 5' prime end, here we have the 3' prime end and opposite to 5' prime we have 3' prime and opposite to 3' prime we have 5' prime end. Now, you must be thinking that what these arrows represent. We would be studying about these arrows in detail. Um, these are the newly synthesized strands and uh, in a few minutes we would be studying about it. Okay, so we studied that the action of helicase uh, give rise to the structure which is known as replicating fork. The stability of the replicating fork is maintained by a protein which is known as single stranded binding protein. Or you can remember it as SSBP, single strand binding protein. Okay, so next is primase. Primase, the main function of primase is to secrete primers and these primers, they act as recognition site for DNA polymerase 3 to bind. Okay, so uh, one more thing that you have to remember is that DNA polymerase 3 adds new nucleotide always in the direction 5' prime to 3' prime end. So the new nucleotides or the new strands are formed always in the direction 5' prime to 3' prime. Okay, uh, this was a really, this was really an important point to remember. Okay, and next uh, we talked that DNA polymerase 3 is required. So the action of DNA polymerase 3 leads to the formation of two kinds of strands. These two kinds of strands are lagging strand and the leading strand. Lagging strand is also known as the discontinuous strand, whereas the leading strand is also known as the continuous strand. The polarity of lagging strand is 3' prime to 5' prime end. The polarity means in this direction we read the nucleotide basis. So the polarity of lagging strand is 3' prime to 5' prime end whereas the polarity of leading strand is 5' prime to 3' prime end. Now here comes the ligases. Uh, no, sorry. Just one more thing that we talked about lagging strand. Why it is known as discontinuous? It is known as discontinuous strand because the lagging strand it is formed in chunks of fragments and these fragments are also known as okazaki fragments. The spelling is O-K-A-Z-A-K-I. So okazaki fragments are the chunks of fragments which are formed by the action of DNA polymerase 3. So uh, now next here, we, here comes the ligases. Ligases joins the okazaki fragments so that the new synthesized strand can uh, sorry so that the new strand can be synthesized easily okay so ligases the function of ligases is to join the okazaki fragments now one thing to remember that we uh, we use the primers right the uh, the two primers which act as a recognition site for dna polymerase 3 to bind so here is a need to remove all these primers to complete the DNA replication process and to remove all these primers we need exonucleases and uh, with the uh, action of exonucleases our uh, process of DNA replication finally completes. Okay, um, yeah one more thing that this was the replicating fork 
this strand is the continuous strand and these are formed in the fragments and these are known as the discontinuous strands so um, it will just uh, elongate this side and it will uh, i mean these two strands will just elongate and form the new uh, new or replicated dna and the replication the dna replication process would be then completed so if you like this video then uh, you can subscribe to my channel and you can also hit the like button and uh, thank you